How is it going, YouTube? Ben Y here from Tactical Fellowship. So I've got a, a little, it's not even a pro tip. It's like a, I bought the wrong things and I need to figure out what to do with them tip for something else tip. So a while back I bought this Maxpedition Velcro holster securer thing. So you're supposed to just kind of go around a holster and like, or you're gone and, and secure it so you can like kind of place then the Velcro side into your bag and like, uh, and it holds it secure. So I bought one of these for my Jack Bauer bag, my man satchel, my Mick Dundee that, uh, so I could keep my items secure. Um, but it really didn't work out as good as I wanted it to. So I bought a second one and I tried to put two on there to make it work. Still didn't work so good, especially when, um, I was using a holster that had the light attachment on that and it made it double wide. I mean, this thing was just barely getting around it. And then I also took everything I could like off the back of these things to make it as slender as, I, as, as possible, um, or as narrow as possible. Uh, so there wasn't, I was using like the backing screws. Um, I was, you know, having them kind of pop off the back of the holster a little bit and trying to get them to kind of like, you know, hook around the, the head of the screw around the back of this velcro you know so it was just ridiculous and so um modification is a different is a sort of inspiration and so i decided one day i'm like i've had enough with this i'm going to make this awesome and so this is what i did i took one of my maxpedition things i think these were like 10 bucks on amazon um and what i did is i just took a scissor and I snipped this guy off here. I went snip, snip, snip. And then this was, threw that out. And then this, this little elastic thing here for like a magazine, I snipped that thing off. And what I was left with was then just this Velcro card. And I just uh, laid it on the back of my, my Bladetech holster. And, um, and I just put screws through it, through the holes that were existing for the mounting plates for the back. So I took a, a drill and just kind of drilled a little bit of a hole through these, uh, through this this backing thing, and then just, you know lined up uh, with um, these holes. I'm not sure how I did it. I think I kind of guessed for the most part, but did you know use some sharpie to kind of make marks on where exactly like this one right here was pretty easy to make happen because this is right at the fold here. And I just put some screws through it, and um, so now what I have for my holster is a very uh, rigid um, Velcro card. Uh, that goes all the way up to the rim of the, of the holster, which was really, really nice because before, the best I could get was one that would like kind of just go like this across it, and it left a lot of wiggle room up on the top, so it's really secure in the bag for all this length. And so, now when this thing is in there, um, it is really, really in there, and it is it goes nowhere so i've been using this now for a couple weeks so that's just a little bit of a tip not a pro tip kind of more like an idiot tip uh if you bought a max position thing and you've got a, a holster um that doesn't have velcro or on or you just don't know how to do it um man i just i just cut that stuff off put some screws through the back and just lock this in and this is pretty much a dedicated holster for this now and it has been for me for about two years and so i am okay because once you do this um I mean, I guess you could go back and change it up, but it's really kind of locked into a singular purpose now. But yeah, this works really, really good. So that's my um, idiot tip for today. I hope you guys thought that might be useful. If not, that is okay. <laughs> All right, sweet. That's Benoit from Tactical Fellowship signing off. Until next time.